This video program will briefly show how to use the joint closure NCD501 and the fiber splicing unit FSU830. The closure, made of acid-proof stainless steel, allows for the installation of the joint closure in very tough environments. The closure can be used for inline as well as butt splices and can allow up to four cables to be inserted in the joint closure. The storage shelves are removable in order to allow easy installation and easy future maintenance work. On each storage shelf, two buffers with single fibers or one buffer containing six fibers can be stored. The sealing between the cables and the joint closure is obtained by a heat shrink tubing coated with hot melt adhesive. Measure out the required excess length of cable and remove the outer sheath. The bonding of the screens is obtained by using a bridging wire with two pre-connected bond clips. After application, the clips are wrapped with vinyl tape. The central strength member can be securely fastened to the organizer. Pull the cable backwards to reduce the slack on the central strength member, and finally crimp down the shrink tubing on the cable. Plastic number rings are placed on the buffer tubes in order to allow easy identification during splicing and future maintenance work. The excess length of buffer tube is calculated to allow the fiber to be re-spliced at least five times. After cutting the buffer, the primary coating is removed by using a stripping tool. Remove also the remaining residue from the primary coating by using a tweezer fitted with two cotton swabs dipped into a cleaning solvent. Insert the fiber into the cleaving tool and fasten it firmly. Press the button for lowering the diamond to make a well-defined notch on the fiber. Pull the fiber straight out from the cleaving tool. Place the cleaved and cleaned fiber into the vacuum chucks on the splicing unit. Close the safety shield on the splicing unit and observe the fiber through the microscope. The fiber can be adjusted longitudinally by using the touch buttons. The fibers can be aligned in the XY direction by using the touch controls. This is alignment in the X direction. This is alignment in the Y direction. When the fibers are acceptably aligned, press the button marked right and thereafter butt the fibers together. By pressing the two enable buttons, the fusion operation starts. The fusion operation is controlled by a microprocessor which can be programmed for different types of fibers. For restoring the primary coating and buffer, Move the fixture to the parking position. Prepare the splice protector and crimp it over the buffer. Restoration of the primary coating is obtained by a two-component silicon rubber. The curing time can be reduced by heating the compound. Place the spliced fiber on the storage shelf. To prevent eventual condensation, a number of silica gel bags are placed inside the box. A pressure-tight seal between the box and cover is obtained by a rubber gasket 
and a number of Allen key screws. It is advisable to mark the cable with warning labels and the closure with the required jointing data.